Hello, welcome to another climate discussion, and this week is a little bit different in terms of climate discussion. We're going to talk about fusion. Now, what do you mean by that? Are you talking about Dragon Ball Super? Are you talking about comics? What do you mean by fusion? We're talking about nuclear fusion. And no, it's not exactly a sci-fi theme, okay? Although we've seen it in plenty of sci-fi um, stories. It's actually been something that scientists have been working on for decades. Many, many decades. And the idea here is that you're going to take two atoms and you're going to smash them together, combine them, and that produces energy. The energy of the sun. Why is this so important? Well, for years, we've always been saying fusion energy is 60 years out. Only problem is that we've been saying that for about 60 years. This time, though, actually, it's going to be a lot shorter. Possibly by 2030. And let's see, it's only 2021, so it's not fair, not, not that far away. Okay, a company called TAE Technology, okay, you can look them up, have finally broken the secret to getting fusion energy to be a commercial viability uh, for energy production. And this is huge. This is essentially taking the same process that produces the energy from the sun and putting it into our, our, our energy sector. This potential would blow away anything we have now. I mean, you could throw oil, coal, solar, water, whatever. Whatever, even fission nuclear, right, which is basically the splitting of atoms which creates energy. This product, this potential, not only produces unlimited energy, unlimited energy, because all you need is what's already in the ocean, hydrogen. So, you have an abundant amount of supply to create the energy, but we always had a problem with creating uh, the necessary uh, capability of basically harnessing the plasma and keeping it uh, confined via gravitational force. Why? Because that's something that, you know, you would do with, let's say, uh, the sun. So, yeah, we're generally using the energy of the sun here, ladies and gentlemen, to create power, to create electricity. So, with that being said, this could fundamentally change everything we know about energy and everything we know about carbon output. It won't even be a debate anymore because energy would be cheap, it would be plentiful, and it would be unlimited. So that would be something that would really, really, really be groundbreaking. And uh, you know, you could definitely you know bring up a variety of stories on this breakthrough. Uh, you, it was in uh, Popular Mechanics, great article there. Uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, but uh, this is this is groundbreaking. This could change a lot of uh, potential uh, possibilities out there. So that's it for this week. I will be back next week with another discussion on the climate. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.